You could say Texas is becoming a drone zone. The Federal Aviation Administration has chosen Texas A&M University Corpus Christi as one of its testing sites for unmanned aerial vehicles. What's learned could help keep our skies safe for years to come. Joining us now from Corpus Christi is Dr. Luis Cifuentes, the interim test site director, along with researcher Dr. Ahmed Mahdi. Good morning to you both. First off, why do you think the campus was chosen as one of the testing sites for the FAA? Well, good morning. It, it was chosen because Texas has 6,100 square miles of unfettered airspace. We have 290 days, flyable days a year, and we have access to the Gulf of Mexico, and we have some of the greatest universities in the country, and we put together a great proposal. That's why we were chosen. Okay, so what exactly is part of the proposal that caught the attention of the FAA? Well, it had various aspects to it. One of the key issues was our ability to demonstrate that we could do this safely and that we could provide the FAA with the kind of data they need in order to be able to integrate the unmanned aircraft systems into the national airspace. As folks who are involved with the test, what do you see the benefits being of using drones? Um, good morning. Well, um, actually, there are uh, lots of uh, applications for uh, unmanned aerial vehicles. Uh, from precision agriculture to uh, mapping and surveying to uh, emergency response to uh, uh, disaster relief efforts. Uh, so the, the list can go on and on. And uh, here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, we are very proud to have, you know, uh, uh, research and uh, education on these topics. Uh, for example, you know, for emergency response, it is uh, much safer and uh, uh, m much more cost effective and uh, 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 actually more efficient to um, send one of those unmanned aerial vehicles compared to a manned aircraft uh, and, you know, uh, provide you with uh, all the benefits in addition to uh, being uh, uh, on the safe side. Now, the U.S. wants to integrate drones into airspace by the year 2016, according to Congress. What still needs to be done? Because right now there are only rules with the FAA. Well, there's a tremendous amount of research that needs to take place in order to be able to do this safely. And that's the kind of research that's going to be taking place on our test site here. It's the kind of research that's going to be conducted by our faculty here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi and at other universities across the state of Texas. All of this data will be sent to the FAA, and the FAA will use that data to develop the rules and procedures that will allow us to fly unpiloted vehicles a safe manner in, in a way that does not compromise the safety of the airspace. Well, gentlemen, we sure do appreciate you joining us this morning to talk about something that is really going to become a part of our lives with government regulation. Dr. Luis Cifuentes and Dr. Ahmed Mahdi, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting talk there.